Kevin. Not too much of cobwebs there, it would seem. No, it was really, really, thank you. It was really pleased with that swim. I kind of, my target was to go under 8.35. That's kind of what I wanted to do. Just get a solid swim, and I'm not normally a mid-season swimmer as well, but I knew that was going to be a tough race. The Sheffield girls and boys have been on form this week. They've all done such a good program. Obviously, Russ is a great coach, so I knew Ellie would be up there, and obviously Hannah. Hannah is just amazing at everything. That's just simply, I used to love Hannah. So I knew it was going to be close, and it was going to be a tough race, so I just tried to give it my all, and I'm really pleased with that time kind of unrested. So I'm not there. Well, that's in the middle of a quite hard training, so how would you extrapolate that time in terms of what you might be able to do in five weeks' time? Um, I don't really know, it's more on how I feel to be honest at the minute. I'm still that really achy kind of pusher and heavy training kind of thing, but hopefully, if my taper goes right, it all depends on that to be honest. If I get my rest and taper right, then hopefully, I can go back nearer to what I did at trials when I was resting and maybe scrape under. That's what I really wanted to get under the 820 mark at trials, so I'd love to try to just meet the same time 820 or go a bit under it at Worlds. And just to be honest, race well. I think it, we haven't, I haven't raced the world and since 2009. It's a very long time to go without racing everyone in the world, especially a year before Olympics. So for me, the most important thing is just to see where the other girls are at and get a good race in a world level and kind of just get involved in the race more than the time. How happy 